I'm Victoria Walsh from the Chandelier Test Kitchen and I'm here to show you how to roast the perfect chicken. Start off by preheating your oven to 375. Okay, so you're going to need a lemon cut into quarters and some salt and chopped up garlic. You need four cloves and two tablespoons of butter. Then once you have your chicken ready, then remove the neck and the giblets from the cavity. You can set them aside for uh, gravy, just place them in a saucepan or if you're not making gravy, just discard them. Then take a roasting pan or a baking dish and place a small rack inside, lightly spray with cooking spray. Place your chicken on the rack, breast side up. Sprinkle the cavity with salt and garlic. Slice your lemon, lemon into four wedges and then stuff into the chicken breast. The lemon wedges are great for citrus stuffing because they give off steam while the chicken is roasting and it creates a juicier bird. Take your butter and rub it all over the chicken. Sprinkle the chicken all over with salt. Be generous. Traditionally you truss a chicken, but we found through testing that you get a much more evenly cooked, juicier bird if you just leave it untied. Tuck the wings underneath the bird and then roast in the center of a preheated oven, 375 degrees, uncovered. Um, baste occasionally one or two times if you have a moment to do that. For a three to three and a half pound bird about this size, it should take you about an hour and a quarter to an hour and three quarters. Insert your thermometer into the thickest part of the thigh without touching the bone and you want it to reach 170. Loosely cover your chicken with foil and let it stand for 10 minutes. This will allow the juices to redistribute in the chicken, making it easier to slice. So when you go to carve your chicken, um, start first by pulling back the thigh and letting the bone pop out and slice along um, where the joint meets the chicken. And then pull your wing down and pull that one out as well. To slice the breast, take your knife starting at the neck of the chicken and run your knife along the breastbone, removing the breast and pulling away from the bone. When you're serving a citrus stuffed chicken, it's nice to serve it with a little bit of lemon wedges on the side. So feel free to dress up your platter or the plate with a couple of lemon wedges. Okay, there you have it. With just 15 minutes of preparation and just over an hour in the oven, you've got a great weeknight meal. Go to chatelaine.com slash recipe file for some more ideas on side dishes to go with your chicken.